Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter D. Master of Hobbits. Today, joined by me, Mr. Just Mark. Yes, and we're drinking some really fucking fresh Monkish Triple IPA. Again, we're not the biggest fans of Triple IPAs, but often when it's Monkish. So we, let's we, give this an 80 and stop here. Yeah. But usually, when it's Monkish and some of these hype boys, we really like it. So mm. sometimes. Sometimes. Most times. I don't think we've reviewed it. I hope this is not too sweet. Usually, Monkish is pretty good at balancing that. So this mm. is really fresh, it's three weeks old. This is the triple IPA called New School Players with new school music players on the label, which is funny. I don't know how old school players looks like, but this is the triple IPA version of that. And I'm you guessing, don't know how old school players look like. I do. But it's wired yeah, speakers. And, yeah, and you know, Walkman and all yeah. that. But that's not what I meant. I meant I don't know what the label for that no. beer looks like. So it says high fidelity on here, and this is a triple IPA on 10.2% hopped with citron mosaic. So mosaic is not something... You see, super often in hazy triples and hazy doubles and stuff from the hype brewers, but I think when they get really fruity crops, they like to use it. Because I know a lot of people tend to use them mostly in West Coast IPAs. Hmm. But mosaic, when you get, get the crops with the crazy blueberry note. Yeah, that's, that's fantastic. Awesome. So, And citra is pretty much always a winner. So let's drink some triple IPA. Yeah, let's do that. When is the last time you had some monkish? It's and a this, long damn time ago. And this fresh. Yeah. I mean, I can smell it here, so... But you can almost see it's a monkish beer. Yeah, because the color, the color is the, so densely saturated. Yeah, and bright yellow. Yeah. It looks a bit more orange than camera, but it's definitely bright yellow in, in real life. Yeah. And I had a can of the Super, which was with a new hop called Super Delic from New Zealand, and it was banging. But that was even more like pale and greenish than this. <laughs> It just looked insane, but that was great. I can smell it all the way up yeah, here. Yeah, me too. Should we check it out? Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> really good. Like, when I smell hazy IPAs at this level, I'm like, maybe I still like haze. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, it just needs to be this level. Otherwise, this sounds like, like a guy who tries to quit smoking. Like, and then when he smells the smoke from it, <laughs> maybe I still want to smoke. Yeah. <laughs> But like that's this smells bang. It's super oh, juicy yeah. tropical fruit. Like citra, it's a lot yeah. of pineapple, a lot of like mango and like bright nuances as well. A little <sighs> bit of like pineapple kush. But the mosaic blueberry uh, yeah. weedy dankness is for sure there. It is. It smells kind of like what like the West Coast haze, like <sighs> monkish approach. That's a bit more dank and like bright, not just sweet juice. This does not smell like sweet juice. Nope. It doesn't smell sweet. And there's a little bit of like a tropical candy, almost like, did you ever have the sour tropical Skittles or the sour no. tropical Starburst? There's no, a little bit so. of that. There's like a lot of sour fruit. Starburst, I don't think I've ever tasted it. Oh, that's really good. It's like, if, like uh, you know, the Danish Moan yeah. chewing candies, which is like kind of like a caramel. But I never like really cared for those. Okay, but it's similar to that, yeah. just bigger cubes. Okay. But I'm getting some of that, and then a little bit of a bitter edge. I, I, this does not smell it like just, triple IPA. I, don't, I just think it's tastes, uh, it's it smells great. really great. Yeah. yeah, well, let's try it then. Let's do that. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> That's really nice. I mean, what, did you get a fine glass? Oh, here. This is how you do triple IPA. <laughs> Like, it's not too sweet. It's actually dry and bitter. It tastes really good. It tastes fucking and great. And it's not sweet. Yeah. It tastes fucking great. It's saturated in hops. Um, it's got, like, minty herbal vibes to it as well on the back. Like a actually, yeah. This is just... It's this is just dangerous. well well balanced and, yeah. and really really no great. No alcohol. There's a little tiny bit on the end, but, like, as soon as it pops up, the bitterness is like, fuck off. <laughs> like it's, it's the bitterness just get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Because so I recently did a review of Brujos, also a very up and coming hyped producer of Hayes, and um, also he's doing Sam West Coast and stuff like that. And I've only had two triple IPAs from him. I'd, I'd love to try non triple IPAs because I know he's so well respected. The West Coast was really nice, and the Hazy was really nice. But I think comparing to the Hazy, this is better because this masks the alcohol better. Than that one, but and there are this is we're drinking this is still feel season. it's a strong yeah. beer, yeah, I am for sure. But and then when triple IPs would never be my favorite style, but like 
when they're done, like if you want to try them once in a while, I, it should be this kind of level yeah. where it's like so drenched in hops and like mm. when it says triple, it should be like triple. It's dry. Tri it's, yeah. I think actually it's sweet, but the dryness, heavy dry hop and bitterness makes it feel dry. Yeah, it, it feels dry. Is, might be because the mouthfeel is really rich and creamy mm. and you usually only get that with not too dry beers. I mean, I imagine this is around four to five Play-Doh or something like that. Okay. Okay. It tastes really, really... I, I have to, I have nothing, I have, I have, I, <laughs> let's just rewind. I don't have much to add because I, I think, yeah, I don't know a lot about the, the brewing and the different hop types as you do. It just tastes really balanced, really good. I'm not a fan of the triple EPAs just like you, but this tastes just, this fabulous triple IPAs. It's a, it's still a nice share. Yeah. I wouldn't. A big can alone would be too much. Yeah, I think so. Like I would have. It a is intense time. and really, Rich. really hoppy and yeah. really power also on the alcohol. You can feel yeah. it going down. Yeah, yeah. But it's it, it's just well done. Yeah. If really. it needs to be up there, this is the way. But this is also banging. Uh, lots of the tropical fruit I talked about: pineapple, yeah. passion fruit. There's a bit of sweet mango, blueberry, Kush for days. Even a bitter, herby, spicy back end, which I really like. It's kind of that West Coast approach to hazy IPAs because it's also bitter, but you can also feel a part of the bitterness is saturation with a yes. lot of hops. There's a lot of hops in it. Uh, and still really bright, not New Zealand bright, but really bright flavors and yeah. saturated flavors. Like this is how you do triple IPAs. It's not too sweet. It's not too boozy. Um, I think Monkish probably makes some of the best triple IPAs. I don't think I've ever had That's a triple That's more IPA. balanced. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think I've had a triple IPA from Monkish that I've disliked. No. So for me, this is world class. Like, like yeah, five. I agree. It's 95. fucking awesome. It is. And uh, I sometimes it's like, oh, I'm so sick of haze. And then I have the haze like this. It's like, I'm yeah, but once in a while, yeah. every style has some charm. Yeah. yeah. But you need to switch around. Yes, and yes. You're, you're, the thing is, it's different what you want. I overdid haze. I did so much trading and getting cans over from all these brewers. Do you remember that? Yeah, we yeah. drank haze all the fucking time. And then that's why it got old. Because we did Everything this. does. Yeah. If you get it all the time, it, yeah. it's, it's just not that interesting anymore. Verity is the spice of life. <laughs> it's true. You can steal that from Peter. Yeah. <laughs> Which I stole somewhere else. Um, <laughs> but this is lovely. This Peter Griffin? No, 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 I think it's a general saying. I don't know where it's from, but fucking great. So yeah, get some new school players. This is dope triple IPA. Um, Adios Ghost, which I also had with uh, Bad Seed and uh, Yeba from Hazy Bear, Frederick from Bad Seed, us, the three of us. That was also this level. That was really good. That was drenched in citra hops. Mm -hmm. I think maybe even I like this a little bit more because the Mosaic offers something that's just not like overripe juice. Yeah. Which I really like, and I know some people think Mosaic is doesn't have a place in hazies, but I sometimes I fucking think it can work well yeah. with the right crops. It can be magic. So, yeah, if you guys had this one, let us know what you thought of it. As always, leave a comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and ring the bell for future notifications about videos. And we're gonna say cheers and some crazy cheers. triple IPA, and see you guys in another video.